Hey guys, two weeks passed and it's time for an update again. So today I got a lot of news. Um, let's do it really quick and fast. So first of all, Bonfire X certification. The papers are now ready. They are finished. I finished them on Tuesday or Wednesday and now they should be at the officials here in Germany. Now we are just waiting that they are like certified and then we can officially ship the Bonfire X with certification. This means for us, we're just going to start, uh, we're just going to continue building the Bonfire X here and then as soon as the, we get the certification, we can ship the bike uh, like to basically everywhere we want. Second thing, the Bonfire E. Here we now figured out why the motor, the hub motor was pretty uh, not so strong at the uh, engine test. It was about 2.1 kilowatt only and we wanted to achieve 3 kilowatt on continuous um, power output. And the reason was is that the temperature for the hub motor uh, was about 110 maybe degrees, the maximum that was allowed for the hub motor and then it uh, like re uh, decreased the power output. But normally the hub motor should go up to 150, 140 degrees Celsius and then only decrease the power output. So our supplier just put the threshold, the threshold at 110 instead of 140. And normally the hub motor works at 120 degrees. This is like the normal temperature of working. Uh, and that's why I guess uh, the performance was so low. So it's a pretty yeah, a mistake that could be uh, yeah, avoided. But it is what it is. Now we figured it out. Now we're just waiting to get a new appointment in the laboratory and then it can be tested. If this test is performed and it's passed, then we can also do the EMC test which we passed already the last time, so this shouldn't be a problem. And then we can send the papers. The papers of the Bonfire E are basically finished yet, uh, because it's a mix of Bonfire S papers and Bonfire X papers. And that's why I just copy paste everything from the parts that I needed. And uh, now we will just wait for the laboratory uh, results and then we can uh, send the papers to the officials. So the Bonfire E should be ready soon. We're just waiting to get the appointment for the laboratories. Bonfire S currently is on hold because we don't have controllers here for the Bonfire S. As soon as the controllers arrive, we're gonna continue building the Bonfire S again. Um, but there we don't have so many open orders anymore. We shipped every order until the end of May. Now we have June, July, August. Basically, um, it's uh, yeah, it's okay. I think we can do it in October, November, and ship the Bonfire S's out. Uh, regarding USA, here we're gonna start building the bikes in October. The Bonfire X probably, then we're gonna start building in November the Bonfire, yeah, it's called now Bonfire E because the American customers who invested in Indiegogo, you um, invested in a bike that can go up to 80 kilometers per hour and this is basically the Bonfire E. Uh, it's the Bonfire S without the speed limitation. So a lot of you guys have the Bonfire E or the Bonfire X. I guess maybe one or two customers only from the US wanted the speed limit of 30 miles per hour, probably because of the license requirements. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna do also the Bonfire E for the American customers in, in November. Um, and as I said before, we have to check with FedEx how fast they can be shipped. But this is still our plan and we will still continue to do that. Um, as soon as I have more information, as always, I will, I will let you know. Um, yeah. Next, you probably have seen already on our website, we have for the accessories uh, two, uh, two new options. It's upgrade or normal option. Um, why did we uh, introduce that thing? The uh, reason is that when you order, for example, a bike and you want a rear rack, of course, we cannot send you the normal rack, which is there, this one here, for the passenger. Um, and then if you just receive the rear rack, then of course uh, we don't have the costs for this part here. Um, and that's why you should also like benefit from this because you don't need this part. So we introduced the upgrade option, which means you only get the rear rack, not the normal part, and that's why it's cheaper. But if you want the rear rack and the normal part, which is there, then you can choose the normal option. And then of course you get the rear rack and the normal. Uh, attachment for the passenger. And this option we have for the LED indicators, uh, for the bar and mirrors and for the rear rack. Those three parts, yeah. If you order them you can decide if you want to have the original parts as well or you just want a uh, new part that you ordered. And of course, and always when you order something new, accessories, we will always mount it for you. 
Next, I'm going to talk about uh, some points in the future, where we're we heading to, what are our aims. Um, so what's the future of Black Team Motorbikes? Um, so first of all, we have to see that we don't suffer from a lot of uh, supply chain issues anymore. That's why we're going to ramp up our warehouse here. This will take a few months, uh, maybe until December even, until we have enough on, st on stock here. Um, that's why until that, I guess we're still going to have some supply chain issues. Right now it's good, we have enough parts until the end of October, battery boxes are enough again here. Um, but I guess in November some, someday we will probably run out of uh, hub motors because they needed a lot more this time to be ready to be shipped. Um, we ordered now again new ones while the other ones are yeah, waiting to be shipped. Um, but yeah, this took way longer than, ex than expected, so maybe in November we will have a few weeks where we're not able to build some bikes. But from our plan, it should be okay. So we're gonna do all the Bonfire X and S's, and then we're gonna do the Bonfire E's. And when the Bonfire E's will be finished, then the new hub motors should be there. But this is just like a warning for you. So we're still gonna have some issues with supply chain, but in the future, until we have, until we received all the money from the crowd investing campaign, then we will be able to ramp up our warehouse. Second thing, um, Especially here in Germany on Europe, it's uh, right now a, not a difficult time, but it's not 100% sure where we're gonna uh, look into the future. So um, the cost of living already increased by a lot because of inflation, and a lot of you know, people here in Germany will especially feel the higher cost of living in January when they will receive the new uh, or the updated invoice for the for the heating costs and the electricity costs because they are yeah they are, they will be pretty high. Um, so we're not sure how customers or our customers will react to that. Will they um, cancel their orders? Will they try to save money? Will they decide not to buy electric motorcycle? Because it's something yeah, you buy, it's not a must have, but it's like a nice to have. Or will customers in the end switch to an electric motorcycle because it's cheaper than a car, uh, cheaper than gas here. Um, so it's not easy to, to know how people will react to the changes here uh, and if it's good for us as a company or is it bad for us for an, for, as a company. And to reduce the risk of uh, going bankrupt, for example, uh, to stay alive for not like one or two years, but for three, four or five years and develop new products for you, improve products for you, uh, do service for you. Uh, it's my aim yeah, as a CEO to maximize the possibility of surviving as a company. And that's why right now we will focus on keeping the team small and staying lean, uh, thereby reducing our cost and increasing, on the other hand, our output. So getting as much as bikes finished and ready and good uh, with as less as people as possible. Um, so we are now a team of four or five. This is the team that we're going to focus on and we will try to run the business as smooth and as lean as possible, keeping costs down and being profitable. And if we can achieve this, um, then our magic number is 30 bikes per month. This is a number that we're gonna have to sell, not have to build, but we have to sell it at least um, per month so that we're gonna stay profitable. Um, that's the thing we're gonna focus on because we're not sure next year if we increase our team, if we get more uh, team members, uh, more, people who are going to assemble the bikes, we're going to have more costs. That's why we're going to have to also sell more bikes. Uh, we have to be sure that we can really sell those bikes then in the future. And in January, February, I think a lot of things will change when people really receive their, their invoice for paying the electricity and the gas and the heating. Um, so it's right now not really a 100% thing that we know we can sell like 100, 200 bikes per month. We just really have to see um, and watch the market, watch the reactions of people and then when we are sure that yes we can sell these amount of bikes uh, we will increase our team accordingly because now we have a lot of orders, we received a lot of orders especially in the last few weeks and last months um, even more than we can build per month which is good of course but this will increase the delivery time of course for you um, but it's also our decision, it should be now decrease the delivery time for our customers and increase our costs and increase our um, probability of failure maybe in the future or do we try to keep it lean, maybe 
the delivery time will be increased by a few months but we are sure that we're going to survive as a company so this is there are some things that we have to be uh, sure about or we have to maximize the chances of um, this is just an information for you i don't want to sound too sad i just want to like uh, give you some insight what we're thinking about why we're deciding like this um, yeah so you should just know we're gonna keep it lean here we're gonna keep a small team we're gonna keep our costs lo low and let's see what happens here in Germany in the next few months, uh, maybe next year. And if yeah, economic uh, you know, horizon should look good again or better, uh, I think we can easily increase our output and uh, our sales of the bike. But right now it looks good, we're happy, so no worries here, just that you know that. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is a small surprise. I will not tell you right now what the surprise is, but in two weeks we're going to have some new updates um, or surprises regarding our bonfire. As you know, we're always trying to improve things, uh, introduce new parts. As you know, we have now this year the LED indicators, the bar and mirrors, and we're going to have some new stuff um, coming probably next year. Then we're going to talk about some new things that you can um, attach to your old bonfire, so you have some new features. And then the new bonfires next year will already have this feature included um, and some stuff like this. So in two weeks, um, I'm going to have some cool new things for you. And then, we, of course, we will be at the inter mode. So it was our plan to have some new things that we can show also in inter mode in Cologne. Uh, every one of you who doesn't have a ticket yet but wants to go there, write our customer service. Happy to help you. This time it will not be me in the customer service finally, but we got the new employee here who will handle this and I will concentrate on uh, the bonfire and introducing some new features. I know you all are waiting for the tank with storage possibility. Not finished yet, but we are working on it. Um, let's see when it will be ready. But now I have finally time uh, to take care of that. Um, and yeah, you will hear more from me in two weeks. Have a nice weekend. Uh, enjoy the weekend, guys, and see you in two weeks.